On this episode of Pimp My Gun, we'll be trying out the dead wire detonators on the explosive tip crossbow for what could be an overpowered combo. And we'll be bringing in the RGL as well. Let's go test them out. So I haven't used the dead wire detonators yet myself, but from everything I'm hearing is that they are disgusting when paired with this crossbow with the explosive tips. So let's go ahead and upgrade this. We'll upgrade our RGL as well. And let's throw on our dead wire detonators. What does this even do? Let's shoot at some of these zombies over here. Oh, okay. So it just activates dead wire. We just wait till it explodes. And then it kind of spreads around. Maybe we have to try this on a larger horde of zombies. This should be a good way of getting some zombies to spawn. We can go ahead and activate this nest real quick. Get them all riled up. Uh, let's throw a decoy so we can get them all in the same spot. And this is a pretty good group of zombies. This is like, what, 10 of them at least? Maybe closer to 15, 20. Wait, let's try this again. Make sure everybody's on the decoy. Now let's see what shooting one bolt will do. We already headshotted one and it immediately just killed everybody. I like how the ones that get deadwired are alive for a few seconds and then they they take the fall. But those are just some tier two zombies. Let's get some tier three zombies involved. Oh, and the abomination wants to join in too. All right. Well, I guess we can test this on all of you at the same time. This actually might be perfect. Oh, wait. Abomination, you can eat that. No shooting at me. But if this can take all these zombies out then we can actually do some really nice crowd control while we're trying to fight him. Oh, we already broke a face on him, too. We killed that Mimic before he could actually grab us. And Mega Abomination downed us, but he's already down to, like, less than half health within just a few seconds of fighting him. So if we just Aether Shroud here, we can probably just light him up. Okay, don't kill me, though. Let's, uh, let's keep this friendly. And you just take a few friendly explosives to the mouth. How's that sound? Looks like he's complying. He's gone. This is sick. Well, we're in a little bit of a predicament. We are out of ammo with our crossbow. We still have our RGL, but I don't have MAGA holding with it because MAGA holding don't even work on the crossbow. And I figured our RGL was going to be more of, uh, you know, the, the, the background dancer to this. Kind of just here for emotional support. Let me see if I can kill a few zombies, get some ammo, and then we can get back to business. There we go. Dude, zombies don't stand a chance against this, and it already did insane damage against bosses. This might be one of the best combos we can use in the game. Now, is the Stormcaller here? I don't think so. Poor Stormcaller, dude. Ever since the Season 3 update, just been getting murked every single game right off rip. No, Mimic. Bad. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. This is like Mimic proof. It's probably the best way to not get thrown under the map. And you know what? Let's throw Shatter Blast on here just for a little extra safety. Oh, look at him. This Disciple's air humping. He's trying to show us that he wants some. All right, Disciple. Eat it. The Deadbolt Detonator's got to be going crazy against you, too. Man, I wish the Disciple was actually here. I want to take out the Stormcaller so bad. But you know what? Maybe we can work our way to getting a Sigil and fighting the Stormcaller or the, the Disciple boss in the new Dark Aether. Let's try to get some contracts. Oh, there's a contract. We got to get there now. Uh, what's faster to run with? Probably our crossbow. We got to beat all these people with Scorchers to it. Oh, we got it. No, nope, no, we didn't. Now we do. Ooh, that duffel bag almost screwed me. In a mega abomination. Exactly what I wanted. We don't have a self revive, but it's fine. We're still going to tear this thing up. What's going on, pal? Oh, you got a few zombie buddies with you too. Some elites. Don't matter to me. Because you're fucked. I'm just going to light them up with this. We'll throw some decoys. Keep all the zombies together. And keep lighting them up. We just got to be really careful that we don't get snuck up on and taken out. So we can just light this guy up with it. And he's just a walking time bomb. Whatever zombies are near him are going down. This disciple needs to go down though. Ooh, I got no ammo. Any ammo on the ground, please? Thank you. Don't knock me. Fuck. Uh-oh. Uh, where are we at? Where are we at? F5. Can I get a revive in F5? Please. Oh, he might be fighting the abomination for me. All I hear is it lasering and him shooting. I wish I could move my camera around. I think I only do it on a controller. Oh, and he's sticking the revive. Thank you. My hero. Got an Aether Shroud immediately. And I think to save myself some embarrassment, I need to just try to leave this fight. But I do have 5,000 actually. I can make it up to the... Sh God damn it, no! I don't want to ask again. I couldn't even get out. I have enough to go buy a self-revive, but I don't have enough brain power to leave this fucking area. I'm just getting 
jumped. Oh, he took him out. Let's go. This guy's a legend. Oh, and he dropped me a self revive this time. What a guy. Oh, and we got another one in here and some jug. All right, let's get our speed cola back and our PhD. Uh, stamina up will probably help. Um, quick revive probably help. Dead shot probably help. Oof. Man. And after our whole going down debacle, we only have so much time to get the sigil. And we got another bounty right here. Let's see if I can scoop it and actually give it a, a fair fight this time around. It's a mangler. They dumbed it down for me. How's this doing against the HVT mangler? Let's light him up with it. Helmet broke. Health starting to go down. Zombie starting to follow. Let's Aether Shroud. Keep him away. And let's put a few right in his eardrum. Good night. See you later, dude. One more should do it. Perfect. And give me a sigil. Oh, he did. Thank you, dude. What a nice guy. Let's get the rest of our perks. And see if we can do any more contracts. Give me this bounty. Please be an abomination. I need to get my revenge on it. Let's go. All right, abomination. It's time for a good old 1v1. Mono a mono or mono e mono. Yeah, that sounds about, that sounds better. I'm about to give him mono. So let's start this with a decoy. Keep him away. Shoot that laser. You big fuck. Come on. What are you scared of? You got off easy last time. Why don't you try fighting me now? I'm not afraid of you anymore. There we go. That's what we like to see. Absolutely zapping his health. He's already down to half. Keep lighting him up. Oh, and guess what? Aether Shroud, where'd I go, bitch? Where am I? What happened? You have explosive bolts in your ass? There you go. Zombies, you got ammo for me? Thank you. Oh, don't, don't you try running over there. Your friend can't help you. Your destiny is, is filled. Or what is it called? You're, whatever. You're gonna die is what I'm trying to say. Good night, bitch. Later. Woo! This thing's dirty. And another sigil. Don't even need it. Let's see if I can get to this bounty before anybody else. We're on a roll now. I just needed the confidence of having a self revive. Give me another abomination. I'm ready for it. Yes, sir. What's up, pal? This should be a nice and easy kill for us. Just gotta keep lighting you up. And your days are numbered. There you go. Yeah, make it easier for us. Give us your crit. And zombies, drop me ammo. So I can continue to destroy his crit. You know, six out of ten men can't find the crit. Kind of crazy, right? It's the big glowing red thing in their mouth. Night, night, buddy. I'm gonna go grab this uh, field upgrade while you uh, kick the bed or kick the bucket. I don't even know what the fuck I'm saying anymore. Give me stuff. You're not dropping anything good. All right, Dark Aether. We're on our way. All right, this is my first time doing this Dark Aether without it being an Elder Sigil. So hopefully we can actually get it all done. And I want to fight that boss in the middle. I don't know if that's only for the Elder Sigil, but I guess we're going to find out. So let's activate the seal, grab our passive, and let's go. I will finish this escort this time. I'm not going to crash, and I'm not going to lose either. And this should be way easier to get nukes too with how much damage this puts out. We should be able to kill whatever enemy has the nuke hiding inside of them so much faster. Let's just keep the shots going. Thought that was a nuke, but bonus points don't hurt either. Now one of you dork-ass losers, drop a nuke. Oh, this guy's got one. There it is. We just got to really make sure we're paying attention to our ammo here. Because I can get a little carried away and just start blasting. And then we're out of shit to blast with. In a blink of an eye. And there's another nuke. Beautiful. Still at 86% here. There's a monkey bomb too. I'm just going to pick this up and throw it. Go. Oh, you guys can chill on it. So far, so good. 82% after the first stop is a, is a great place to be at. And the fact that this just completely stuns disciples is crazy. Because it's, it's almost dead wire every single time we use it. We are starting to get low on ammo, so I'm going to throw a cashmere preemptively. And we can start spamming our crossbow right into the cashmere. Any nukes on the ground? Nope. All right. Awesome. Hit a little aether shroud. Double points. Nope. That's not what we want to see. Come on. Stop holding out on us, game. Dude, this is actually so nasty. If we just target the, the elites, hit them with a few direct impacts, one's bound to stun them. And we can just keep them away. And then any zombies near them are just going to get killed by the, the collateral damage. And we are at three bullets. Good thing I noticed right now instead of later. Give me ammo. There we go. Nuke works too. And another cashmere is going down. Really need ammo. Desperately. Doesn't seem like any wants to be dropped. But a nuke does. Come on. Come on. 
We're right at the finish line with like basically half health. It's exactly where we want to be. And zombie spawning immediately. So cashmere going out. Just got to really make sure there's no stragglers that get their, their free licks in on this. I just finished giving it the super suck. We just need to lift off. I'm throwing a cashmere for safety. We got to have it. Ain't no way we don't. And it's launched. Let's go. We did it. We actually completed it. Now I know for sure what I'm bringing next time I get an Elder Sigil. This thing is dastardly. Just let me get my reward, please. Let me open the rift. Come on. I don't want to pick up the bomb drone. This is ridiculous. We have to stand in like the very perfect spot to use it. We got a whole lot of nothing. And don't you worry, Spore. I'm coming back for you. We just need to complete these other two contracts and then we should be able to take those out. Let's activate this seal. Let's throw a decoy. Grab our other decoys from our backpack so that we can pick up our passive here. And we keep moving. This abomination should go down easy. Yeah, there you go. Shoot that laser, you fat fuck. Already got him to half health. And we're about to get a nuke right here. Beautiful, get stunned. Just don't kill me. Uh-oh, out of ammo. And doesn't look like there's any zombies around for me to use this on. I think the Disciple's gonna spawn some in for us. Appreciate you, Disciple. And you can have a Thermite for now. Max ammo works too. Damn, that's a lot of Disciples. Y'all better not be healing. Don't get on here rapping. Oh, he's so close to death. Come on, take him out before he gets healed. Another nuke. Perfect. And he's dead. That was fast. Let's go. Ass rewards, though. At least give me, like, one of the new acquisitions. Let me get another Deadbolt or Deadwire Detonator back. Come on. You can do better than that. But actually, this crossbow is, like, perfect for every single challenge here in the Aether. Because not only is it good at protecting the Escort... It's great at taking down the Mega Abomination. And for this one, the Outlast, there's no better combination than PhD in this. All we gotta do is shoot at our feet and we'll be perfectly safe the whole time. Or at least most of the time. I'm sure I'll I'll end up going down at some point, but not without a fight. Oh, nope. We might just do it right here. Wait for it, though. Nuke. Easy. Let me use this. Activate it. I need to drop something. I'll drop a self revive because I'm confident. We have our speed boost now. And we're good to go. This is a lock. There's nothing we can do to lose this. Actually, no, let's not say that. There's a few things we could do to lose this. I don't want the game to think I'm disrespecting it. The camel curse has already hit me so many times that just the game in general curls, curse is going to fuck me up. See, I can't even speak. It's already starting to get to me. And you know what? Cluster mine for you. Wait, why are all these zombies like getting frozen? Is that what the numb foot does? Makes you run at shivering speeds. Okay, so it's not only a speed boost, but it slows them down if I run past them. Is that what happened? Yeah, look at that. This with all the passives is crazy. I better get an Elder Sigil from this because I want to run this back. This is too nasty not to do again. There we go. Finish the contract. We'll Aether Shroud use our Reward Rift. Oh, we got our Deadbolt Detonator back. Uh, we'll take that over this. And another Legendary Aether Tool. Might as well grab over... All right, now let's go see if we can start off this boss fight. See if we can figure it out. Oh, here we go. Rift Spore, get out of here. That's one of them. Oh, that's a huge one in the middle. Holy shit. Here's another Spore. Now, what is there, like one more? Oh, here's the last Spore. That should do it. Now, what happens now? Oh, we have to destroy the big Spore. You got it. Damn, this thing's got a lot of health. But this should blow it up. The Rift Heart. Gone. Oh, shit. I didn't even say this guy's name. Garganackle? Gianxel? Either way, we're fucking him up. Oh, he's gonna bring in some other monsters. Oh, this is kind of like the story mission where you have to kill his two, like, sidekicks before you can actually start damaging him. But if we just keep running past him, we can keep freezing him, keeping him still, keeping him in place almost. And there goes one. That should be two. And now let's Aether Shroud and keep fighting him. That way you don't heal on us. How you liking that? And even just the contact of the bow hitting his hand stops it. You don't have to wait for the explosion. He's spawning in more. Quick nuke. Hold them back. Oh, and there's four of them that we have to take out. That was the slowest grab ever. Uh, we might have to run to an ammo cache. Luckily, there's one not far away. If the map would load in, it'd be a lot easier to get to it. Thank you. Oh, and I can't even stop him from healing when he's protected by these guys. Shit, that makes this fight so much worse. Ooh, and a nuke. Give me that. That should stop him from healing too. Another one. 
Where's your last dude? Oh, he's all the way over here. He followed us to the ammo and got stuck. Come here. There you go. Quick nuke too. Stop healing. Knock it off. Have a thermite. Enjoy. And now he's spawning in even more. So we got to try to stay as far away from him as possible whenever he spawns his dudes in. Because him getting a, like a free heal every time is not good. But with our passives, at least one of these guys has to drop a nuke, right? Oh, shit. They actually knocked me. I got wombo comboed. Our first down of the fight, though. There we go. Nuke. No, I don't have any ammo to stop him from healing. This is the worst outcome. At least this can still damage him. He's got more lackeys. We got him close to half health, though. At least we made progress there. We didn't let him heal too much. Our strat of running away is working. He's going to spawn in an abomination at some point, isn't he? Like he did in the story mission. Okay, killed all of his dudes. It's back to business. Don't you immediately start calling your guys in again. And he did. Thanks for listening. Now, where's this bitch ass at? Is that him? It is. There we go. Ate the shroud, too. He's very close to dying. Come on. Let's finish it right here. Right here, right now. Let's go. What do we get for that? Oh, a new blueprint. Disciple blueprint. What about a reward rift? Can I actually open it, please? Oh, the elder sigil. That's what we're looking for. Another deadbolt detonator. Perfect. But you know what? To maybe get some schematic cooldown time, I can just sit here and keep shooting these guys. Get some extra money, extra zombie kills, extra points. But do we be greedy? We probably shouldn't be. We should get out of here while the game is not crashing. 57,000 points is probably good enough on top of however many kills we got with this. So let's go. Wow, I'm impressed, game. We made it through the entire one without crashing. I'm going to try to get set up as fast as possible. And then we're going right into the Elder Sigil. Actually, you know what? Since we're at the very start of the game and the Stormcaller is still alive, let's try to take him out with this. If we can take out your older brother, the stronger version of you, we should be able to take you out with this just as easily. Okay, we got his mask broken. How much damage are we doing with this? Stop healing. Uh, that's honestly not bad. It just takes a little persistence. Ooh, especially if we get some headshots. You probably do even more damage with back shots. But it doesn't seem like this stops him from healing as easy as it did the other disciple for whatever reason. Oh, now the reinforcements have arrived. Well, he's distracted. I'll take him out. Night, night, Stormcaller. It's been fun. Give me your skull. All right, we're all set up. Time for the elder. All right, we got no time to waste. This will be the time that I get my final schematic. I'm already calling it now. And we are going to solo this escort elder. Let's get it started. Give me that. And we're good to go. We're starting it up immediately. Let's get it moving. There is way more elites this time around. They are not messing around. Disciple, drop that now. Thank you. Any ammo on the ground? I'm not seeing any. We just got to keep moving. Keep it going. We got enough ammo to make it through. Oh, Mangler. Be a doll and drop that. Thank you. And let's throw a monkey bomb. And we should have enough ammo to make it through this next one now. Let's get it moving. Got a monkey bomb preemptively. Because this disciple right here... Oh, jeez. I got stuck on a crystal. Let me in. Hit the nuke. But we are only on 65 health now. Something gave this thing a, a good old wallop. We're going to have to cashmere here. I'll wait for the cashmere to end. Then I'll hit the nuke. Right about now. We're still doing it. We're halfway. I believe. It's these manglers trying to snipe us from a distance. That's hurting. Same with uh, the mimics squirting on this. Bars. We're on our second to last stop. It's like they barely want to drop any ammo. I'm rationing over here. It's all armor plates. But we're still good. We're still fine. We're, we're doing all right. We're doing all right. 44% going into the last one ain't bad. I am all out of cashmere's though, which sucks. Because that's like a, a guaranteed way to keep them away. I think we'll be all right. I'm about to throw down a cluster mine. Let's put it right here. Now get the sucking. Disciple, don't you fly away. You come back down here with that nuke. Asshole. We're getting teased. Oh, only 30%. 37. Okay, we completed the last step. We just needed to take off. Come on. Only 25% health. Clear it. Clean it. Nuke right at the end. Perfect timing. I think we got it. I think we did it. Let's go. Now let's Aether Shroud. See if we can't grab our reward. Uh, I guess we'll just use this. Um, we don't really need that. We don't really need any of this, actually. That's unfortunate. Could have gave me something better. We got to keep moving. That one always takes so much time to do. I feel like you'd have to bring a Scorcher in if you wanted to fight the boss in an Elder Sigil. There's like 
no way to actually do all these fast enough. All right, we're back to kick your ass, Abomination. How's it going, pal? Already to half health. Knocked us once, that's fine. You know, we need a little bit more storage space in our backpack for all the loot we're about to take out of here with us. Abomination, it's time for you to leave. Night, night. That was so fast. Ooh, oh, ray gun case. Should have been a scorcher. Oh, the beret. That's exactly what we need. That's our last schematic that we're looking for. And on top of it, we get a merc to follow us. You can be our decoy, our living decoy. Last contract, activate the seal. Pick it up and activate this. And we're good to go. We're actually killing this. We got our first contract done with eight minutes left. And now we're starting the last one with five. We're flying. This is just so mindless. Just walk and shoot. All we got to do. Yeah, I think it's pretty safe to say that this combo, pretty busted. It literally just made the hardest Dark Aether in the game stupidly easy. Oh, we would have got another schematic too if we needed it. Uh, let's drop this. I guess there still is a little bit of time left. You know what? We'll see how much damage we can do to the boss before we leave here. I do want to exfil though with this beret, but I don't think I've ever stayed past the amount of time in the Dark Aether. I'm pretty sure just the storm starts shrinking and then you, you'll take damage. But we have a golden gas mask and we might be able to just sit by like one of the ammo patches, but I don't know if it, the game just like shuts down after a bit. Let's just try to fly through these. And I have my RGL here and I have like not touched it. I haven't used it this whole game really. I think the Aether Blade kind of made it obsolete. We got two minutes left. We just got to take out the heart and he'll spawn in. And I think now that we kind of know how the fight's going to go, we just need to be a little bit more cautious about when he goes to heal and when we can stop him from healing. Like right here, we can stop him from healing if we can actually hit where he's fucking healing from. Oh, and an insta-kill. Now's the time. Oh, if only the fucking map would load in. Actually, he's already at full health. I don't care if he heals right now. Let's just take the mangler out while we can. And then while we're at an insta-kill, let's get as much damage on this guy as we can. We might have more health than the, the elder. I don't know if this is working. I can't stop him from healing, it looks like. He's spawning in even more. Oh, we have 11 seconds left. Yeah, this storm is right on us. Okay. We gotta go. It was nice seeing you, whatever the fuck your name is. Guy, Guy, Guy Axel. I get, gotta get the fuck out of here. Because even our golden gas mask is just getting eaten away at this fast. I'll be back, though. I will kill you in the Elder one of these days. We made it out. No crashes. I had to wait and say it because it could have just crashed right there. We actually made it through two whole games without crashing, which is insane. That hasn't happened since the season has started or season reloaded. And we now have all the schematics, every single one of them. And in case you haven't seen it yet, this is the blueprint we got for defeating that disciple in the Dark Aether. Not bad looking, and it comes with a chainsaw, which is perfect for zombies. But overall, I think the gameplay with this crossbow kind of speaks for itself. This plus the dead wire detonators is an absolutely insane combo. Throw a little shatter blast on there, and you're basically invincible as long as you got PhD and as long as you're not meat. Because I went down a few times there to start. You know, we only had our one self-revive. We didn't have a whole lot of perks there at the beginning. But once we got fully set up and we we're a little more confident going into it and we kind of got the flow of it, nothing was stopping us. You know, we'd go down here and there, but we would just absolutely tear through any contract that we did, take out any elite that we came across, any zombie we came across. It's like nothing's an issue for this gun besides ammo. And it shouldn't even be an issue if you pay more attention than I do and you actually go and pick it up after you kill some of the zombies. But I'm going to go ahead and end it there. Thank you guys for watching. I truly appreciate all your love and support and I will see you in the next one. Later.